Ooh wee! I'm going to Maui. Mango season is coming on. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's gonna be a good one so far. Look like a good one over here. What's that? Look, does it look like a good season over here on the trees? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what it I thought. Fan freaking Last, I think last season was kind of manini, and then. Yeah. Um, last summer I got a uh, uh, paid to pick mangoes. That's nice. I got it back on uh, back in mainland owns a uh, a little lot down. There. Again, back mainland, and uh, just didn't want them to go to waste. So, all right. So, your big end is already through the the throw line. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to take the ball off the opposite end, and the ball is going to pull the small end up. So as I start just pulling the line, the ball pulls the small end. Now this is a crucial moment where you double check to make sure everything's fucking straight and not all kind of twisted because dude, that'll just be a bad day. Right. Now check out the mechanics of this. Now the ball is going to pull this and it's just going to flip up and over. Yeah. It's just going to pull that small ring over the branch. Flip. Pop it over. Yeah. That sound there. That's what you want to hear. Prettiest sound in the world. Ha ha ha. So it pulled the. It, it's like a magic trick. Mm-hmm. It pulled the uh, the small ring over. So now I can attach this to the splice of my rope. It's going to go through the, the small, small ring first. Yeah. Oh, the big one. The big ring. So when you're finished, you pull out. It hits the small ring. Right. So. Otherwise. Be resetting when you get up there for some. You have to all go all the way to the top or whatever, or pull the. Or you could pull the other end of your rope. Well, ideally, that's, that's what you want. That's how you want to do it. Yeah. That's how you want to do it. Bam, we're right through. Yeah, you got that clipped into you. And you can just. You got to keep your hands below your uh, your rope. And just come in just like that and slide. Slide your hitch up. You know? That's old school foot locking. Fuck that. <laughs> so bad for your body. I would much prefer 
you just uh, your SRT. Yeah, single line. Nine ounce on butterfly. Take a twist. And then second twist. Switch hands and put that rope right back to the water. You need that knot. You know that one? I do. Nice. I haven't tied it in a while, so I, you just reminded me. But That is the knot of knots. All right, so now we don't have that opening up problem. Yeah. And this one is solid. Nice. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yep. <laughs> uh, cause have you ever climbed with any, any SRT climbers? Um, no, no. That's why you're here. No. See the length of my tail there? Mm -hmm. It's a little ridiculous. All right. So again, you can't climb on that. Right. Because it can, you know, wiggle itself out. And double it off. can't wiggle itself out if you put a stopper knot behind it. Stopper knot. That is also a fact. I climb on that without a stopper knot. You time. really, really should. What? Really, really should <laughs> Don't do it, man. We're loading, unloading, <laughs> loading, unloading, loading, unloading, loading, unloading. Those, those cycles, it can wiggle itself out. So what about a Yosemite tie-up? Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. You just gotta back it up somehow. Just somehow. Um, so okay. butterfly knot is fine. I mean a, a figure eight. Uh, figure eight. An overhand, just so it can't go back through there. You know what else is good? Bam. Between the distance and the carabiner, it, you're never gonna have an issue. You're never gonna have an issue. Alright, so now we have a taunt line. It's just SRT. This thing slides up just fine. You know? It's when it's loaded all by itself that it really doesn't work by, by itself. That's why you need, I'm sure you've seen these, a rope wrench. Yeah. You know? Never used it, but I've got one. Yep. Nice! Uh. Nice! Alright, so. What the rope wrench is doing is it's putting a 90 degree, two 90 degree bends in the rope. All right, note itself, this is a big tip. All right, the pin always comes in from that side because there's a little divot in there. So when you mm -hmm. turn it around, it opens up just a little further. Okay. Never take this pin out. Right. Ever. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. I got you. That's a great tip. All right. So if you look at what the wrench is doing, it's putting a 90 degree turn and a 90 degree turn. 90, 90 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 180. Just like going over a branch. Okay. So this is providing the same kind of friction you would have going through a friction saver, that 180 degree turn. Right. Okay. So that's eating up just enough friction so that this, this functions correctly on a single line. You know? So as you're going up, it's really not doing anything. You know, it's not until you're coming down that it starts eating friction. You know, so again, you, you can't you can't go down with just a hitch cord, but you can go up. And what you can do is again for a short hop, something like this, just get into your monkey pod. Go SRT. Just use your one foot ascender. Freaking sit stand. Sit stand. Sit stand. Once you get here, you can just unclip this, clip in right there, and holy shit, you're in doubled rope. Huh. That's pretty neat, huh? Okay. So you can send this all the way up to the top of the tree. Access, you know, the on full SRT. length of the rope. All you got to do is get get there, clip in, and start repelling. You're on doubled rope. Okay. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty cool. We're going to show you this again tomorrow. All this right. is a great trick. This is how you. This is the best way to transition into SRT. What's up, Doug? How's it? Yeah, here we are again. Oh, yeah. The fun never ends. Definitely not. It's got a nice little monkey pod we're going to play in today. Awesome. Chew! Oh, yeah. What?
world is wild, it turns me on. Get it up out of your way. Okay. Then tie your hitch. Yeah. Then check your hitch. Yeah. Because this isn't life support. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is life support. Right. Make sure this will hold right. your weight, even if this isn't being used. You know what I mean? Yep. So check it with just that. It's high. Holy fucking moving back. <laughs> Love is new. Love is all. Love is you, sweetie. Because the sky is blue, it makes me cry. It's really fun to limb walk shadows. The sky. Uh, right, and then and then if I had to bail, I come back for the sling, bum bye. Right, be re be ready for that. Got you. Yeah, just clip it. Does that look right to you? Does that look right to you? Okay. That's it. Nah, man. Does that look right to you? Does that look right to you? Uh, I know. I, just, I know. Yep, you look good. They're gonna cinch right down the carabiner. First Should. First, right? Maybe a little bit more tail would be nice. That's good. All right. Yeah, as long as it's right. five times the diameter. Yeah, she cinched. Yeah. So then I just clip this into my middle hookah. No, nah, man. Now, if you want, you can either remove the wrench altogether or unpin it and put it on the dumb end. You're good there. I know. I just. You can it. I know. First things first, right? Yep. All right, you don't need to take it all the way out yet. Right. You got, it. you got it. That's it. And now you're a double grip. Back. Back where I'm used to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now again, because you're so close, you've got slack on your dumb end. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You're gonna have to slide. You don't have to do that. I just have to go down a little oh, bit. I, I just have to go down the rope a little bit. Yep. Right. Now you're one to one on that hitch until the other side gets tight. You just gotta pull down on the hitch. Keep pulling down on the hitch. Oh, there. one to one yep. until I get to there. Yep. Nah, you just hit two to one. Okay. All right. You, you, sneaky, you, sneaky. You, you see how that works? I do. I, 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 cool, huh? Yeah. Transitioning. All right. So, like, on your way up, you've been playing around a little SRT. You've done a little limb walk. You definitely worked that column. All right. Okay. Now you're up here. Boom. Grab your tail. You're in double grip. Yeah. You know, while you're in that position, you could have gone ahead and lost your bowling and all that mess right there. 
but I mean, if it's just a simple freaking tree, you know, you don't need to. It's like now you can do. No need, no need to clear this. No. It's just extra work. I can do it on the ground. You can totally do it on the ground. Yeah. Like, as long as you're not gonna, uh, you're not planning on, on moving that or anything, you know. So, like, if, if you just got a really easy tree, you can go up the one side SRT, catch your tail, and then come down the other side double growth. Right. SRT ascent. Yes. SRT for ascent. And and for other things, but I climbed the whole tree SRT. Right. You know, because it doesn't matter how many branches I'm going up against, like as you, you, you just saw, the friction doesn't change right here. Yeah. Just, I guess, and for other things, just be aware that one-to-one, -one, two two-to-one difference. Yes, on your hitch. On your hitch. You know? And, this, I mean, the slack is yep. the main thing to worry about. Yep. Because, you know, th this is about as much slack as I ever want. Yeah. You know, I don't want it all the way down here. Yeah. Right, right, right. The, the fruit is the flower. Huh. You know, so it's going to split open right there on the very point. Yeah.
uh, the door right now, that's our captain. Uh, a couple of things, just to, before we get started, as far as safety parameters and issues go, uh, we do have four entrances and exits to the aircraft, two in the back, two in the front over here. Uh, the back does have a stair, which came on. So It's our 4th of July sale here at Cooper's Carnival with Flint Classic Cars at the corner of Collins and Collins. I got a lot of little fun, some of the little cars one can buy at the prices even you can afford. So come on down and say hello to me and Granny and bring the kids to meet my snake. I say bye, Granny says bye, and the snake says, I love General Pat. 